Good morning, Patriots! Welcome to Arts Times TV! My name is Alan Ruiz. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, October 10th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. Well, it's always a good to have a girl thing mindset. Now is in a new word with word of the day. Hey, Santiago. Did you finish the project for science? I finished it, but I needed a muster on my courage 2%. I could tell you were a little nervous not to collect your thoughts, but you did good. Thanks, I was pretty nervous, but in the end, I did pretty well. To be honest, I also had to muster up the courage to present too. Glad to know I wasn't the only one. See you, you tomorrow, tomorrow word, word of the day. day. Wow, what a great new word. Now let's check in our Hispanic Heritage Highlights with Sofia. Hola, que tal Patriots? Today in history, we're going to talk about Julio Palmas. Julio Palmas is an Argentinian doctor of vascular radiology who created the heart stent. Vascular radiology is a procedure that is mostly used for surgery using medical images and lots of technology. Doctors may place a stent if a blood vessel is too narrow for enough blood to pass through. Palmas earned a place in the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Wow, it's so inspiring how he's done so much in his life and has inspired so many people. Now let's go over to Jasmine and Hadassah for last week's sport update. Thanks, Sophia. Hey, sports fans. Our volleyball girls played against Aces last week Thursday. The girls are improving and trying their best, but unfortunately, we lost 20 to 25. Keep improving, girls. In a more positive note, we wanted to shout out number 14, Angelie Walker. She got us 10 points with her amazing bumping and serves. Also, a shout out to number 15, Anise Watson. Your bumping blocks and serves were on point. Thanks, girls. Keep improving. Now let's talk about Coach Bridges. Your inspirational talk sure motivated the girls to work harder for the next win. Also, our own flag football boys played against Aces last week. Regrettably, we were defeated 13-21. Don't worry, boys. You got the next one. Some notable highlights. Thank you, number 10, Eliza Joseph, and number 4, Derek, for those amazing touchdowns. They were spectacular to watch. It was a lot of fun watching the cheerleaders. You guys always do a great job. Until next time, sports fans. Now, let's see what's cooking with Aiden. Thank you, Jasmine. Today's lunch is hamburger or turkey and cheese sandwich, potato wedges, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Aiden. I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, the instructional software challenge is still going on, and it ends on Thursday, October 20th, 2022. Let's keep flying through those lessons with 80% or higher. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Teachers, the Hispanic Heritage Bulletin Board Contest is still going on. The winner will be announced on October 20th and will win a special prize. I can't wait to see your amazing boards. Students, our candy drive is still going on and it ends on October 20th. During this time, please bring in bags of wrapped candy to be donated to the Fall Festival. Make sure to bring the receipts for volunteer hours. 
Students in class with the most donated candy will win pizza and ice cream party. And the teachers of the class with the most candy donated will win lunch on admin and free planning period. Speaking of fall festival, it's coming up. It will be on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be games, food vendors, candy, music, raffles, and haunted hallway, and more. Pre-sale tickets and ticket bundles are now on sale on My School Bucks. Make sure to buy your tickets now. Time to say no to drugs and participate in Spirit Week. Tomorrow, October 10th, is Nerd Day. Time to show you're in a nerd. Students not participating need to wear your school uniform. The top three classes with the best attendance will win the pizza party. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Nia. Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a rainy 87 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. It looks like our rain streak has come to an end. In other weather news, people now think that worm spit can fight pollution. I know it sounds gross, but researchers found out that wax worms can help plastic pollution. Because of their saliva enzymes, they're able to break down something called polyethylene. That's where most of our shopping bags and plastic bags are made from. This is especially cool because these rooms can significantly reduce plastic pollution. Let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, Nia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. A new Monster High movie came out last week Thursday. Claudine Wolf enrolls in Monster High only to find out there's an evil plan that can destroy her school. It's all up to her and her freaky awesome friends to save the day. With the power of friendship, anything's possible. For this fabulous Monday, today's national day is a strange one, Patriots, but happy National Cake Decorating Day. If you love to bake, then today's your day, but I prefer cookies. Nah, pie for the win. Even though it isn't a holiday in Florida, happy Columbus Day, Patriots. I think our American history teacher will find this funny, don't you think, Destiny? If I don't get a day off, I don't want it. Thanks, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Erica Calderon, Zachariah DeRogier, Fernando Estrada, Sydney Noel, Aaron Sardi, and Omari Wright. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, I kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Shane, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Stone, Mr. Winsome, and Ms. Madden. You all had the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was, which child does not move when a car turns right? The correct answer was spare tire. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What are they? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.